Hey guys, this is your Bax Nazi and welcome back to my channel. If the if you see the lighting change, just know that I'm using natural light and a ring light here. So might be. Okay. So this is a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm not gonna be speaking about the products. I'm just gonna be talking like we're just we're just gonna have a nice chat. Okay. The reason why I already have my lashes on and my eyebrows is because you know those things just take time, like those things just take time and plus i respect i respect natural hair gurus because this <laughs> i was trying to i was trying to straighten my hair right and make it straight with the blow dryer so i can look nice and cute and have like a nice you know hair bun thing going on here like a nice high hair bun thing going on total fail i was like getting tired i was like this is too much work my natural hair is too much work so yeah this is what we came up with you know put some edge control here there's a puff at the back you know what i'm saying this is a really nice you know i'm going to work i'm a boss babe look i think don't you think like i think so. i wish the sun can just do me a favor and just you know the things but you know this is okay so if you guys watched my ooh, what's going on here okay cool. so if you guys watched oh i think i need a mirror i've got my mirror here so yeah if you if i look at the mirror all the time sorry okay <laughs> i'm just joking i don't think i'll do that because the video so actually am i joking I don't, think I don't know what I'm doing. if you guys watched my youtube live update that i did this year You'd know that, well, I kind of touched on the reason why I came back on YouTube. And I feel like, I'm just going to just expand on that just a little bit. I feel like God's been really recommending some YouTube channels. I don't know, maybe it's because of the YouTube um, algorithm and because I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm on YouTube more. Then I, I've been on YouTube more and stuff like that. So maybe it's just the YouTube algorithm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to say it's God. So... <laughs> Um, I feel like I've been discovering more channels that I'm actually into, right? And like what I said, I was like, Sophiology, Susu, and there's actually another YouTube channel I discovered called Nissy T. And it's amazing. You know, when I was doing those like motivational videos, if you guys have been here, I felt like they were getting really like low views. But then when I discovered Nissy T's channel, I realized that like when I when I look at her subscribers and the views that she was getting for her um, whole Wake Up Wednesday thing, where she does motivational videos on those on those videos, um, she like her so she has like sixty one subscribers and she'll get like two k views on those Wake Up Wednesdays and sometimes seventeen thousand views. But then I I was like actually this is normal. A lot of people don't really want to hear motivational stuff from YouTubers. <laughs> People want to hear story times, juicy story times, and they want to hear a lot about, you know, SEX a lot. And it's kind of like, I don't want to be that person, do you get what I mean? I wanted to bring some original content, something that just resonates with me. And, you know, motivational, empowering videos is what I'm into. Like, that's just who I am. So I really felt discouraged last year when it came to YouTube and plus, you know, I was doing second year and it was just a lot of work. Unexpected, like, I did not know second year was going to be that hectic, but it was. So when I realized that, oh my gosh, second year is pretty demanding and YouTube, I kind of feel discouraged with it. I was just like, no, let me just stop it, you know, because my mental health was getting affected. And yeah, I'm really, really strict when it comes to my mental health plus i had a few friends <laughs> who watched one of my youtube channels and started teasing me about it and i was like oh so this is this is this is this is you guys this is how you guys actually are this is how you guys actually feel about what i do and etc and it allowed me to really think about who I was really inviting in my life. One of the things I'll say is that I would encourage people to start YouTube channels and do what they love and etc. Simply because it really reveals who's there for you and who really isn't there for you like that when it comes to pe when it comes to people and you really do a lot of introspect introspection. 
one thing i will say about youtube is don't assume that your friends will support you when you started or anything like that unless you know you really have true friends and you've been blessed with them what i will say is that and you know there's gonna be times where you're gonna have to like ask your friends to support you and that's okay because other people have you know people have their own issues in life you know what i mean and i'm not saying that if your friends don't support you with youtube every time you upload anything they're not true friends or anything like that no they have their own lives but what i'm saying is there are those friends who genuinely don't like what you're doing and they're probably envious or something like that i don't know but they're there and it's better for them to be revealed at an early stage in your life than later on when you guys have already done a whole lot of things and created so many memories together you get what i mean so i'm actually pretty happy that that was revealed to me when i started youtube i didn't want to make up videos or upload videos that i knew was going to bring me views and stuff like that no what i wanted to do was bring um videos that had a lot of truth in it or content that nobody really or content content no topics that people don't really speak about a lot simply because i felt like there was a lack in that so i was like you know let me just do something different and because I was doing something different, I feel like that's when I was like, oh, why? Why, why are the views not popping the way I thought it was going to pop? No, it's because it's something different. And, you know, I've chosen to take this journey. I needed to accept that, like, I am bringing a lot of mature content out on my YouTube channel. Like, and that's okay. It's really okay. At my age, it's okay. You know, as long as I'm doing what I love and I'm sharing the gifts that God has given me, that's, that's okay. That's really okay. God is going to provide the audience that I need and I'm just going to do what I love. Do you get what I mean? This is who I am and this is what I bring to the table. And honestly, like, if you really want to make a change in the world, you got to do something different and you've got to be very, very passionate about it. And that was... But one of the things I actually enjoy about YouTube is setting up and editing. I love editing, like... That's what I love to do. And one of my friends from, like, my like childhood... Well, she's my childhood friend. She actually told me that I used to make videos when I was like 10 and stuff and I'd say it to her and I don't even remember those days. Like I literally don't remember those days at all. And I was kind of like, oh my gosh, so this has been something that I've actually <laughs> really been into. I just forgot. You know? Sometimes you just gotta be like, actually, how did I end up here? Why am I actually passionate about this? And God will just bring you the answers. Of which is what I got from my friend. Let's try this angle. How am I looking at that? This year, I joined a network marketing company or an MLM, MLM company, which is New Skin. At first, I was very skeptical about it. I won't even lie. Just like any other <laughs> company or whatever, I'll be very skeptical. I'll be very skeptical. But when I went to the I went to the convention center, I forgot what it's called. Empress Palace in Kempton Park. I went there and then I met the people who are actually involved with new skin and etc. I was like, this is actually pretty legit. And then I heard gospel music and I was like, yep, God's calling me to be here. That's how I am for myself. And what I can say is when it comes to that, I feel like there's a whole lot of backlash on it on Twitter. Um, in the middle of the year and people were like yeah don't let me join your skin i'm not interested in your skin stop it stop it stop it stop it and okay i'm not for people getting into people into other people's dms and like always irritating them about an opportunity but it really is an amazing way to really um gain another stream of income and also um if you want to be an entrepreneur and you're interested in being an entrepreneur that's a great way to start I won't even lie to you. It's a very great way to start. But what I would say is that get a part-time job or full-time job because when it comes to entrepreneurship, it's not a guaranteed thing. <laughs> There's ups and downs all the time until you're stable enough to like get into full-time new skin or get into a full-time side hustle. It's just a, it's a side hustle. And one thing about side hustles is that you don't want to miss an opportunity simply because you heard other people say 
um, yeah, this is a bad opportunity. I feel like there's a number of people who are in Forex and they're making a lot of money, but simply because there's just like hooligans in the world or crazy people or weird people in the world who like to scam people and etc. There's a lot of people missing on the opportunities when it comes to Forex or network marketing, to be honest. Well, I always say this to my girls. I'm always like, y'all, like when it comes to any opportunity, it's how you use it. It's really how you use it. They are corrupt CAs out there. Just because the whole world is saying be a CA, be a cat, be a what, 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 doesn't mean there's always going to be like a a bad person in every industry, if I can say that. You know, there's always a, there's always someone weird. There's always someone weird. There's always someone weird. Even on YouTube, there's people who bring up content and will be like, yeah, this is original, but yeah, they got that content from TikTok. Yes, I learned that from, um, who is it? Miriam's <laughs> Miriam's YouTube channel with Adiolo. She actually mentioned that and she was like, there are some people who just like faking shit. And you know what? Let me tell you something, guys. If God calls you to do something or you feel like this is something that I really want to do in my heart, other people are going to judge you. People are going to judge you. People are going to look down upon you and whatever until you succeed. Then they're going to ask questions. Then they're going to be like, how did you do it? I was actually very skeptical or blah, 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 and stuff like that. It's really hard to start something, but when you're very passionate about it and you just continue doing whatever is, whatever the, whatever you think is correct in your life or whatever you call to, people are going to start listening when you start succeeding. And I'd say it'll be kind of too late for other people. Let's say your friends, if they're judging you the whole time and I'm not, I'm not talking and I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> but let's see your friends if they're judging you the whole time about something and um they don't see the opportunity they they just they're just laughing at you because you're doing something different than the than what they're doing right when they see you succeed they're gonna ask questions and it's gonna be too late at that time it's gonna be too late it's gonna be too late because why were you laughing at me why weren't you supporting me at that time when i needed you did you even pray about what i was doing That's the question. That's the question. Did you even pray? Are you really my friend if you're going to be talking behind my back? Period. <laughs> Period. Period. So I use eyeshadow to contour simply because I don't have money right now to buy um, whatever contour I need to buy. I do have a cream contour kit though, but... Mm, I'm not really a fan of it, if I can say that. But eyeshadow, it's not that bad. It really isn't that bad. You just gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? But yeah, I really like experimenting with makeup, hence why I am even doing it already with me. I love makeup. When it comes to network marketing, what I would say is that find a very good mentor. Like, you don't wanna just join a company and then, like, you're under someone and then you're making the money and they're not even helping you with anything. Do you get know what I mean? Like, you're helping them make money and they're not even helping you do anything. I feel like network marketing is such a great concept. It's just that some people just misuse it, if that makes sense. And that's what makes people doubt it, you know? That's what makes people doubt everything, actually. Even when it comes to YouTube, like, YouTube couples, a lot of people be talking about, oh my gosh, YouTube couples are fake, no, 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 no. But then there's those YouTube couples who are actually real and who are actually doing the things. Do you get know what I mean? So, I don't know, like... When it comes to life, don't define who you are or how your life is going to go by how you see it, um, by how you see how other people live or how you see how other people go about life. Like, no, your life is your life. Don't define your life through other people's lives. <laughs> like, have your own point of view, you know? Have your own thing going on. Just mind your business. Mind your freaking business. Also, when it comes to network marketing, do your own research. I did my research. I spent two months doing my research when it came to news. When it came to news again, I was like, I'm gonna do my research. Don't just don't just join something simply because oh, this one's doing it, or I saw this on Instagram or on social media. Can I tell you, social media is so deceiving. Like people be living fake lives on social media, like literally. So do your own research all the freaking time. Like, don't be out here just believing anything. Have your own opinion. I'm just gonna go into the next topic. If you're a person who 
wants to be an entrepreneur, but you know, you have to secure your degree because <laughs> of reasons, or you just want something behind your name as well. What I can say is this, like for me, I'm not into the uni life. Like I don't like the uni life, whatever life that is. So it's partying and just studying and like, you know, experimenting. I mean, experimenting, okay. I was in that scene, but <laughs> when it comes to just, I don't know, just the uni life. I don't know how to even explain it. I'm not really into the uni life. I'm more into like the entrepreneurship life. I don't really like being in lectures and stuff like that. Like, I get bored easily and everything, but you know, I have to do it for the family. What I can say is if you're the same, if you're like me, right? Balancing entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship life and uni is not easy. But thing is, if you love doing business, like I love doing business, like that's what I love to do. I love doing business. If you love doing business, you'll find a way, honestly. You'll find a way to balance everything. And it's not gonna be easy, but the thing is that you're gaining, you're learning a lot about yourself. You learn a lot about yourself. You're learning how to balance things when you're older. You'll be able to be like, you know what, this is what I went through in uni. This is similar to what I went through in uni and everything like that. So I'm very appreciative of what I'm learning. And I'm only like, what, 21? I'm very appreciative of what I'm learning in uni and just on the entrepreneurship life. Like you learn a lot. When you go to university, you learn what you're into, what you're not into. You learn a lot about yourself. You learn about what you don't like, what you do like. I think I already said that. <laughs> Like, I feel like in high school, everyone, like, was the same. Everyone wore the same uniform. Everyone was experiencing the same thing. Whereas in units, like, someone's getting married. Someone's having a baby. Someone has a boyfriend. Someone doesn't have a boyfriend. Someone has a full-time job. Someone does not have a full-time job. And it's, like, it's crazy. Like, everything is just crazy. Some people are in uni. Some people are not. Some people are working. Some people are not. Everyone is in different stages in their life. And they're learning completely different things. And people are changing. People are changing Ooh, i'm an extrovert right i really like speaking to people and stuff but i also love my own space i don't know what that is i'm probably an ambivert i think i'm just both <laughs> like I'm, I'm i'm a mixture of an introvert and an extrovert although i don't like journaling a lot but anyway what i've experienced is just like not spending a lot of time with my friends because i'm doing other things and i love my own space that's the thing i love my space <laughs> But I also like speaking to people and getting to know other people. So that's one of the things that I think I struggled with. And I am still struggling with, but I'm trying to balance everything out. But like, if, as long as you have friends who understand what you are doing and, and etc., then you'll be fine. Like, friends should understand all the time. If you don't have friends who understand what you're doing, then, you know, that's on them. Okay? Just keep doing what you're doing. Because they're not going to be paying your bills in the next five years. Or now. Period. <laughs> start to surround yourself with specific people. You start to become strict on yourself. I've become strict on myself. Like, I'm like, strict, like super strict on who I speak to and who I surround myself with or who I interact with on a daily. Let me say that. Ooh, that's a good interact. Who I interact with on a daily because my energy, okay? Like, I need to be sane <laughs> every day. I don't have time for nonsense. I don't have time for unnecessary drama. That's just who I am. Like, I even get bored when someone tries to gossip with me. Just like, I'm the worst person to gossip with. Like, I'm, I'm literally the worst person to gossip with. Like, I'll just listen or I'll entertain it for like two minutes and then I leave the conversation and I'm out. Okay. And also like, just being an African woman, I can't miss out on an opportunity. I can't miss out on the opportunities my parents have opened for me or um, the people who have fought have opened for me. Like, I'm not gonna miss out on an opportunity like that. Like, my granny didn't have this opportunity that I have right now. Like, why would I fuck up my opportunity simply because of friends or people who don't know what I'm doing or people who are laughing at me or who don't know, who don't understand that, oh, this is how nosy is or something like that. Like, why would I like? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Like, my ancestors, my granny, and all of them. Like, they didn't have the opportunity that I have right now. So I'm gonna take everything seriously. Like, sometimes I even forget my age. 
I really do forget my age. And I understand, like, people will be like, you know, you're still 21, you're still young. Even my dad will be like, dude, like, you stop stressing about this thing. Like, you're still young. I understand that. But honestly, like, I'm not going to mess up. I'm, I'm not going to mess up my life because of how other people think I should go about it how other people think I should go about it. Like, I'm not gonna mess up my life. I'm gonna take my life seriously. I'm gonna pray every single day. I'm going to ask God, yo, please help me, please help me, please help me. I'm gonna beg, I'm gonna beg God. I'm gonna expect things from God. I'm going to do what I've got. I've, I gotta do what I gotta do. Do you get what I mean? And I'm a black African woman, black African woman. And I'm out here taking a YouTube video I can make, I can edit. I can edit. Do you know how many Africans on this continent do not have this opportunity? I'm not gonna fuck it up. I'm not gonna fuck it up. I'm not gonna let any man fuck it up. <laughs> I'm pretty selfish when it comes to like relationships as well. Simply because, let me say this. When you start dating, seriously, like one big advice I'll give to anyone is to be selfish. Also understand like where you wanna go in life. And also understand that like just because you like someone doesn't mean they're for you you need to look at other things and when you're dating someone or you start date or you start you know mingling around you have to understand that you're also trying to know what you want and know what you need you have to try understand that when when you get into a relationship it reveals a lot you need to have the guts to leave a relationship and be like you know what i need space i need to reflect i need to see what i'm about and honestly, I feel like I'm at a place where I actually know what I want and what I don't want simply because of the relationships I've been in. And I had the confidence to walk away. Because what? I was, I was selfish. If you if you give someone that power to, um, I guess, to use you, if I can say that, because or manipulate you, you're done for. So be careful of who you invite in your life like that. And just know that be selfish. <laughs> Do things slowly. Okay? Don't rush yourself. Don't rush yourself. Take your time into getting to know that person that you're interested in or anything like that. Take your time. Because one of the mistakes that I did, right, was I rushed into things. Take that advice. Take your sweet ass time when it comes to people. <laughs> Point blank, period. So, what was I speaking about? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Oh, oh my gosh. Let me tell you something. I don't know if you guys can relate with this, but I'm the type of person, like, when I love someone, I love hard. Hence why I'm so strict on this whole thing of take your time. Take your sweetest time. You don't want to waste your time with someone. You don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Make sure they're worth your time. So yeah guys, this is the makeup look for today. Hopefully, you know, when I get more equipment and everything like that, then the lighting will be way much more better and all that stuff. But you know, it's only the beginning, so it's cool. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And yeah, this is your ABI Xnozi. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video.